MTV, welcome to my crib. So, when you walk in, you have some things down there that I'm not really sure what to do with. Brody, stop chewing the chip bag. Thank you. A little butternut squash taco bowl. Our protein bites. Yay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new kitchen Yay! if you guys have been following me for a while you know that i hated my last kitchen i would always talk about it in every food video every single time that my last burnt orange wooden yellow kitchen was in it i would always say one day guys we're gonna look back at this and i'm gonna be in my white kitchen and we're here in my white kitchen. My boyfriend and I moved into this apartment. I think it's been like 11 days ago, 10 days ago. So it's pretty recent. Unpacking takes way longer than anybody can prepare you for or tell you about. I just don't think I realized how much stuff I had in the old place. New apartment, new me, you know? I don't want that old stuff anymore. But then you get rid of stuff and then you don't have stuff and <laughs> You don't really realize how much things cost when you need a ton of things at once and you move and whatever. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little kitchen tour and then we are gonna make dinner and tonight for dinner I'm making one of my favorites which is my ground turkey butternut squash bowls and then we're gonna make dessert slash a snack. We're still working on that summer body even though we're halfway through summer. Going strong over here. Let's just jump right in to the video. Over here you have like a little bar stool area. I'm kind of not showing this because right now we have our cat's post right there. We're getting rid of that because it's so big. But we wanted to bring it so that this way he kind of like had his little thing and got used to the move and then we're gonna get rid of it. So we are gonna put bar stools here eventually. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that section for now. On this side, we have some cabinet space. It's such a cute set right now on Amazon to put in there. They're like white and wooden, and I'll link them down below. I have my eye on them, I'm trying to get them, but. I don't have them yet. And over here, that is from my last apartment. It's just from like Home Goods. Carrie got that from Bed Bath and Beyond. And we have all my little books over here. Laundry room in there, which is a mess. I kind of just threw things in there. Then over on the side, we have my Nespresso, which I love. Crystal up there. That was actually a gift from my uncle. He gets like the most amazing crystals ever so I just put it up there just for good energy I don't know I just wanted it somewhere where I am literally 24 7 which is in the kitchen and eventually <laughs> I am going to get a shelf to put my crystals on favorite decorations over here you know my mrs. Myers cleaning stuff I'm hoping that one day mrs. Myers will be like my BFF and I'll just get mrs. Myers shipped to the house all the time little marble canister which doesn't even close all the way and I just keep my little sugars in there it was on a sale which obviously we know why now because it doesn't fully close <laughs> here in this little corner I just have my little utensils a little taco sign that lights up my olive oil since I always use that and then my little instax collage which I had in the last apartment this is everything I'm going to use to make these I have my guac here I always have this one in the fridge it's from Trader Joe's it's made with Greek yogurt it's really good just to have because it stays pretty fresh usually I just like scoop off the top layer and then it's fine so we're gonna do that we have our butternut squash zigzags that we are gonna get in the oven right away ground turkey here this is just a pound black beans um what else is over here the salsa verde this is totally optional i just love it we have sriracha tomatoes brown rice 
and some taco seasoning. My oven is preheating to 350. Actually, I'm gonna turn it up. So we are gonna put this on 375. Take a pan out. Drizzle some olive oil. Butternut squash zigzags. Drizzle them with a little bit more olive oil. I always use my pink Himalayan salt. Do a pretty generous amount. Some adobo, just because it's one of my favorite seasonings ever. Because why not, we're gonna put just a little bit of sriracha on there. We're gonna put this in the oven. The oven's on 375. And then we're gonna put a timer on those for, uh, let's do 30 minutes and just check out where they're at after 30 minutes. We have our pan heating up on about a medium heat and we're just gonna add in some olive oil. Open up our ground turkey, taco seasoning. And we're only gonna pour about half of it on there for right now. Always just add a little bit of whatever salsa I'm using that night. It just helps keep it a little moist. The turkey is still cooking. We're gonna go ahead and do our rice. I have one cup of water there. We're gonna turn that on to high. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a cup of brown rice. And we're gonna bring that to a boil and then lower the heat and leave it covered until it's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take the butternut squash out because it is ready. So this was in for 25 minutes. This is what it looks like. Go ahead and make the protein bites. Um, I am gonna measure this for you guys just so that it's easier, but it really does not have to be measured. These I'm gonna do oats, honey, dark chocolate, peanut butter, Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of tahini, totally optional. I don't usually add this, but I have it, so I want to add it. Um, a little bit of coconut oil and vanilla. Add about a cup. Little drizzle of honey. This honey ever wants to come out. <laughs> half a cup of peanut butter. About a tablespoon of tahini. Coconut oil and just do like a teaspoon. I mean, maybe like two teaspoons, really teeny tiny amount. Just gonna give you a little bit extra healthy fats in there. About a teaspoon of vanilla. I always go a little crazy with vanilla. Chocolate chips. And do however many you like. These are a little bit bigger than I normally do, but we're gonna roll with it. Just form these however big or small you want them. They will form to balls, so don't worry. I'm gonna do about that size. these in the fridge and then you kind of can just take them whenever you want them. The perfect little amount. Put some brown rice on the bottom, our ground turkey, butternut squash, top it with some black beans. I didn't even realize I had this. This is from Costco. I'm sure you can get it probably anywhere. Some tomatoes. You can literally top this however you want it. Sometimes I'll put cheese on it, but you know. This is the healthy version. And then we'll put some cilantro on there. Sriracha, of course. 
And there you have it. That is the finished product. Just a nice, healthy little taco bowl. Hope you guys try this out because it is seriously one of my favorite meals ever. It's just one of those meals that you eat and you feel like you're doing something bad, but you're really doing something good. So that's why I love it. And then to top it off, we made dessert, which is even better. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Of course, if you did not like this video for some crazy reason, then whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.